Hello everyone. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, cross-domain tracking in Google Analytics for a step-by-step -step process and a, with an easy method. So first of all, we have to know that uh, why uh, we need uh, cross-domain tracking. So if you want to know uh, why we need uh, cross-domain tracking and how it works, I wrote a blog. Uh, please read the blog. Uh, you will understand a to i will give the link description so first of all keep in mind that we have to use same container for cross domain tracking if you want to use google tag manager separately you can use uh, if you want uh, to google tag manager same you can use no problem but uh, need uh, the same container of google analytics for here we have two websites uh, com and uh, another is the matrixmonkey.com Actually, the Matrix Monkey is a demo website. Uh, I will use it uh, today for the tutorial video. So, first of all, we have to integrate our Google Analytics with uh, website. I already integrated my website with uh, Google Analytics for. Uh, I hope you know how to integrate a website with uh, Google Analytics for using Google Tag Manager. Here, uh, I have config my Google Analytics for with GA4 config tag. Also, uh, the matrixmonkey.com container here. Also, I integrate my Google Analytics for with uh, Google Tag Manager. So, so in the next, we have to go our Google Analytics for container, and uh, we have to click on Admin section. We have to go and we have to go on Admin section. After Admin section, we will see the data stream. Uh, click the data stream and click on the website wahidu.com under the data stream okay uh, if you scroll down we will see the configure track settings we have to click here after clicking the configure track setting uh, we will see configure your domain so click on configure your domain and here already Connected with waidu.com, but we need to connect the matrixmonkey.com. So from here, I copy the matrixmonkey.com and here click on add condition. Add condition here, we will see many other options. We will, this, uh, we will choose the exact link message. Sorry, we will choose the exact link message and we have to paste the website URL. After paste the website URL, we have to just save. Uh, that's the cross domain checking. We already done our job. Let's check it's working or not. So for checking this, we have to our uh, Google Tag Manager uh, web container and uh, from web container, we have to preview. Okay, let's preview. Okay. We we integrated our agency website with the footer section. Here we will find the our agency. If we click on our agency, uh, that's redirect with our the website of agency. So we click on this. Okay, that's cool. This is the matrixmonkey.com, and here we will see that here a cookie id where this is underscore gl equal to something that means our cross domain tracking is working properly so for further verification we can use a extension here we have an extension that's called redirect path if we click on redirect path here also we will see that's the matrix monkey underscore gl that means this is working that's cool that's it for today. See you soon in the next tutorial. Thank you.